Wow, it's happening. The alleged 19.3 billion bailout money that um, Kogi governor has been involved in the scandal. Northern youth demand independent investigation over EFCC allegations on Governor Yahaya Bello. Hello, my wonderful people. Northern youth says Yahaya Bello must be investigated. I mean, EFCC, I beg your pardon, must be investigated with the allegations they have placed on Yahaya Bello. But, you, I mean, they fail to realize something, every one of them. So, so you see, because uh, as, we, as we are at the moment, Yahaya Bello, you know, Kogi, has been put in the in the northern region of the country and whether you like it or not yaya bello has already declared or you know signified his interest with regards to um you know his interest with regards to election yeah and so uh efcc like yaya bello is you know suggested is that they are after him because some people who wants to be president you know wants to tarnish his image and so when his image is tarnished, they can, you know, adequately, you know, take over gradually. Then you have no say. So Northern youths are saying, well, we want this matter investigated. We want to get to the bottom of it. This is Northern youths now. Mm -hmm. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Northern youths movement, NYM, has demanded for an in in independent probe of the controversies over the 19.23 billion Kogi salary bailout fund, the EFCC and Financial Crime Commission (EFCC) claims it recovered to the central bank (CBN). Rising from its meeting in Abuja on Saturday, the Northern Youths also chaired the EFCC over what they call on ending game on media trial and on constitutional action. It said it was imperative for a panel comprising representative of the CBN, Sterling Bank, Federal Ministry of Finance, Account General, Accountant General of the Federation, Kogi State Government, EFCC, Police, Special Fraud Unit, Independent Corruption Practices, and other related offenses commission, chartered institutions of bankers of Nigeria and civil society organization to be set up to investigate the very said matter. EFCC has said that it returned the sum of 19.23 billion to Kogi from Kogi state government, which they have kept. The 19.33 billion bailout fund meant to pay salaries and Stelly Bank was meant to yield interest for the governor to carry out election. However, the governor said there was no such fund and it was never from him. So where did 19.3 billion come out from? The Kogi state government also insists that it is an open or it is not open or creative and the said same Sterling Bank demands that the EFCC apologize to the state immediately for dragging it in related matters that he has no knowledge about. The youth also asked that EFCC act within the premise of the law and stop jumping into conclusion and honestly investigate the matter. So here you are. Northern Youth says EFCC has to tell us and tell everybody what truly and really is going on. EFCC really needs to, you know, come to terms with what the truth really is at the moment because um, it feels very much like somebody is deceiving somebody somewhere okay so efcc have said that um the the, the i mean uh yahaya bello uh, you know kept money made for salaries money meant to pay workers in the state yahaya bello has kept it for himself blah 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 Yaya Bello said there is no such thing as any 19.3 billion. That there is never any such thing. There is never any such thing whatsoever. So you mean some 19.3 billion was just, you know, waste, was just lying somewhere, you know, was just lying somewhere and nobody, nothing. Nobody has the money. And give it to students, share it for at least the Kogi State students. By the time that money is shared for Kogi State students, I know it will go a long way. 
Some of those students, their parents have nothing. Some of those students, I mean, they have nothing to show. I mean, some people cannot even pay their, their, their rent, their, their, their school fees. And some people's parents have even gone to borrow. So life is really on the very other end for some people. So give it a whole 19.3 billion. Oh, no, no, no. That's, a, that's too much money for, for it not to have an owner. And guess what? That's how there are so many. That's how Nigerian money is scattered all over the world. Mm. With those who have carried the money from the country and taking it everywhere else. That's how money all over the That's how money is scattered all over the world. You know, they wake up one morning and they tell you that, um, oh, Nigerian government has a so-and-so amount. It's a so-and-so bank. And you'll be wondering, really, you know, yet we're still borrowing. And that's how bad because everybody wants to have a share of the national cake. Everybody wants to do whatever he or she, she wants to do and get away with it. So when you look at the whole situation at the end of the day, who exactly is to be blamed? Who exactly? Do we have leaders? Do we have? Is there anything called leadership in this country? Do we have anything like that? I beg your pardon. The answer is no. We do, but not with heart. Not sincere, true people who wants to lead or rule the nation in accordance with the rule of law. Largely speaking, most of them are after whatever they want to get. So it's all the grabbing mentality. It's all in the grabbing mentality. Not because, you know, they are sincere, they are honest, they're ready for a change, a drastic one at that, you know, that could potentially set the nation in a good course and make things better, people's life better. That's not the plan. It's nothing near the plan at all. Okay, it's nothing near the plan. So, I mean, it is what it is. So it is a wake-up call and every one of us can sincerely, truly come out of this and not allow ourselves to be oppressed by some people who call themselves leaders. And really, truly speaking, I mean, they don't even care for the people. There are no systems in place for the less privileged, for the orphans, for the youths. You know, there are no recreation. There is no model. Even the leaders are not role model. So who do you, I mean, wh where is the example? Where is the example? Even the history of the country is not well documented that people can look forward to and say there is something here I can glean from. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.